Why, hello there everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, doing a little live review here of a show that I caught last night. I saw Daughters. I saw Daughters last night. The, the, the band that I reviewed their album, You Won't Get What You Want, and I loved it, loved it, loved it. Yes, the Rhode Island-based noise rock band. They were in my neck of the woods. I initially missed the, the tour dates that they had in my area after the release of their album uh, initially, but thankfully, because of how successful the tour they embarked on after the release of their album was, they booked way more tour dates and hit up way more locations and uh, ended up in my neck of the woods, basically right on my doorstep. So of course I had to go out and see them at a wonderful but humble venue in my area called the Spaceland Ballroom. Uh, I'm actually gonna be playing over there. <laughs> <laughs> for, a, for a live speaking date over in August if you're catching this video before that. So uh, uh, we'll link you guys to tickets down below, I guess. So anyway, 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 uh, really great show. Had a great time. Small stage, dark room, band members doing it all live. Uh, you know, not too unlike many other rock shows that you may have seen before in the past. But uh, Daughters really does get by on a few different things. I mean, for, for one, um, the energy of the crowd is incredible in that uh, the, the sounds that Daughters creates. I mean, look, when I, when I listen to them, I feel like I'm going crazy. I feel like going totally demented. I feel like uh, my brain is like melting or collapsing. And it, it felt really good to get almost like a confirmation of that feeling by seeing them live and seeing other people in the crowd basically have the same reaction, basically going insane because there, I think there really truly is something about uh, Alexis's lyrics. I do really truly think that there is something about the uh, pummeling, crushing industrial uh, rhythms on their latest record and their self-titled as well, because they played a good mix of, of tracks from the self-titled from almost a decade ago and, and their latest full-length LP. But still, there's something about those rhythms. There's something about those lyrics. And there's something especially about those shrill, um, ear-piercing, zany guitar leads that uh, sound pretty much just as insane in person. I will say they're a little louder and bolder and brighter in the album context where they can most likely be compressed and mixed to voluminous perfection. Uh, in the live setting, I will say, at least in this instance, they were mixing in with everything else uh, a little bit, but still it sounded great. It sounded amazing. And it was crazy to just see everyone in the crowd <laughs> being driven absolutely insane by the band's uh, unique and mutant sound. Uh, it's incredibly visceral. And, and certainly everybody was like having a, a reaction to that. So, you know, the crowd's energy for them was definitely incredible. And um, it's it's an energy that I think few bands other than Daughters can actually pull out of a crowd because it's, it's very dark, it's uh, disturbing, it's unsettling. And, um, you know, everybody's just like kind of functioning on like this, this primal level in a really weird way. And as, as far as the new material goes, the material off of the newest full length LP, <laughs> A good deal of the people there knew every lyric by heart, like even better than I even knew them. And we're just like screaming along with every single word. It was like a, a dark, twisted Sing along. in a venue that was that was much too small for crowd surfing. But that did not stop everyone from uh, going crazy and moshing and crowd surfing uh, in, in, in the very limited amount of space. Uh, where, where that even sort of made sense. Um, everybody was getting sweaty as hell. It was like packed in. It was like the, the energy of the venue was just building up. The heat was building up. It was about to burst. It was about to explode. So the, the energy of the crowd there was incredible, was amazing, and, and certainly added to uh, the quality of the live show quite a bit. The other thing that Daughters had going for them was just that they, they just put everything into performing on stage. They are just like pure animals on the stage. And I just don't know what to say outside of that. I mean, sh certainly a lot of that energy is channeled through Alexis who, like I said, he's, it's, it's, it's like he's giving a sermon on the stage and everybody's sort of shouting in his face and he's just sort of like getting aggressive with the crowd and jumping on top of them and, 
and uh, uh, interacting with them and, and just going absolutely crazy. But the rest of that energy is being channeled right into everyone focusing so intensely on their <laughs> instruments and creating the most hellish sound that any rock band is 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 making right now. At least it was making in in 2018. The the sound was was great. It was well balanced. The performances were tight. The way the band segued so quickly from song to song to song to song was really exciting. The group didn't even really give people that uh, much breathing room to, you know, rest and clap between most of the songs on there. Uh, live renditions of cuts like Guest House, for example, were crazy. Was a little surprised that that didn't end up being the last, last song in the band set, considering, you know, the string sections at the end and just like kind of, kind of how final that song feels as an ending. And given all of the very intense and noisy material that the band had to pull from in this set list, I'm surprised they actually ended up playing tracks like Less Sex. And I was even more surprised by just how amazing that song sounded in person. I mean, in my view, Less Sex is obviously one of the more understated songs on You Won't Get What You Want, but in person, man, that wall of noise and that wall of guitars was just incredible and crushing. Uh, the band's live sound was just really good. They just did a great job of kind of recreating the sound of their latest record, of their self-titled record, and just upping the ante a little bit by performing in a slightly more aggressive fashion and just not letting up in any way, shape, or form. I mean, you know, I've been to uh, my share of punk shows, my share of metalcore shows back in the day. Um, and this was, you know, definitely one of the more visceral shows that I've been to in a good way, you know, not in a way where it's like everybody's trying too hard to freaking crowd kill and like mosh their brains out because it's like this uh, competition to see who can be the most, you know, macho or whatever like that. It's, it's, it's not like that. It's very visceral and cathartic and dark in the best way possible where you can just kind of like let loose, let go, allow all the nastiness to just kind of like, you know, melt off you. Or, or or seep into you or soak it up like a sponge, which whichever whichever makes you feel better at the end of the day. It's that kind of setting. It's that kind of vibe. They put on a great performance. They're so freaking tight in person. And, uh, you know, just to see them on stage being completely mad uh, was definitely a, um, a fulfilling experience for me. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that. It was a great show. Loved it. They killed it. Good set list. Good mix of tracks. And... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I will say my biggest regret walking away from that show is that I, I never bought the band's self-titled LP on vinyl, and, and now I'm sad. Now I'm sad about that, but I'll, I, I, think that, I think that's all I have to say. You guys are the best. Anthony Fantano, Daughters, You Won't Get What You Want, live review. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel forever.